Yes. And probably this is this might have been my last TA. Hello, my name is Insania. This is I. I'm Boxy. We're here in Seattle. It's the last day of TI. And this is the story of, of TI 12. Content enjoyers. Boxy. My mom says don't get too much stress and you're very wonderful. I think she watched her thing, yeah. so. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. She said don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Everyone has like the same pants and jacket and backpack. <laughs> It's like a, the national team or something. <laughs> yeah, I've been coming to Seattle since TA4, since 2014. I mean, it, it's, I, I like it. It, it like, uh, everywhere I walk, I, I just go like down and I'm scared. It's just cold, uh, very cold. What's going on right now? <laughs> so not the best start. Bad start equals good ending. Ooh. How have the scrims gone today, William? Well, none of the PCs work. Everything's lagging. Nothing's working right now. Nothing. You know what? We have each other. We do. And with the power of colleagueness, we'll get through the day. Yeah, that's true. Look at Zai. He's so ready to be a colleague. That's a golden goal winner right there, Bucks. William playing a pub when we're supposed to be in the player meeting. Wait, what am I going to change about that player meeting? Nothing. You're like one of those kids that just sits at the back in school and doesn't listen to the teacher and yeah. thinks you're cool. That's you. If you had to fight Boxy in a real fight, do you think you would win? I would just have him. I think we were feeling, you know, pretty right. I think it's always hard to tell when you're just screaming and boot camping. It's every, every tournament is sort of a new beginning. Wow. Wow. But wait, William, can you explain why you neither are bold nor have a poom. Because I shot a three and so I said I didn't do it. What? I promise. Actually promise. Getting real close to this. I'll shake my hand on it. This means by the first DPC major, I will There is no DPC, what do you mean? Well, by the first major that I attend, I'll have a perm for Zai. There are no majors. I'll take a photo of it and I'll send it over. You've upset literally everyone with this one. Bro, come on. Like, a lot of times you go somewhere and you don't get to see much of anything because you're just staying in the hotel. I mean, we, we went out for like a walk. We just uh, went around the town. It was pretty chill. I mean, I like walking around with the guys. We played three series, very long day. So we did like 10 hours of games. And the two teams we had like scrimmed the most going into TI were Boom and Shopify, and they had been smashing us. They're gonna swing over from the western side of the map. They'll start off to pure. They've got the that damage explosion. to blow him up before the reaction, so it's on to Tokyo just out of range, and now they can turn to the bench as well. Stampy gets some separation, but the Bramble's gonna stop Nation from retreating. It will not matter though, as Boom. They're not even gonna be able to kill anyone. Liquid find four. This time around, you know, I, I wouldn't say that we had an easy group, but I think it wasn't as difficult maybe as predicted. I felt really, I mean, as soon as we beat Azure and then Boom game one, I felt really confident. They run in with Boxy, charge through onto multiple. Artizia looks for the back line. Can he find him? Jump for it, Chrono. It's only onto one. It might be good enough though. With the Cataclysm out, it's good damage, but it's not enough. Fear connection, a lot onto Mickey, starting to fall, but not dying yet in the Torn Storm. It does enough. They managed to find the control, everybody gone, and Liquid didn't lose one. We were in the group of death with like Azure Ray, Bed Boom, and Shopify. I think our group was not so tough for us. I think we weren't really contested at all in groups. I think we felt pretty good after the groups, obviously, because we did well. Mick, what about you? Today in two words. One word. Warm up. Warm up. Okay, nice, nice. We still need to like play best of three, and like if we lose, we're lo lower bracket. So it was a little disappointing that the groups didn't matter in the end that much, but you know, happy. Like going forward into into the best of three, uh, obviously we're playing AG, and I think that was a pretty good matchup for us to get to choose. I, I don't think they were like uh, playing the best. I think we we kind of knew uh, what we want to play, so the prep was good. I'm back to full health, C Smile and the rest of EG trying to stop this from going down the call GG, and Liquid will take the 2-0 over this evil genius side with ease. 
Because like when you play these group stage games, especially like how do you even go through warding of like five teams? Like if I had to do it through replays, it would take like at least one to two hours. With SAP, it kind of compiles all the information that you want and like stacks it up on top of each other and you can just scroll through the list and it's very quick and easy to use. And now I just have it ready available, like as soon as their enemies matches them. I think me and Jabs are probably the two that use it. I mean, Jabs uses it more than, more than I do, but we're the two that uses it the most in the team. I'm very grateful to have it and I think Jabs is doing a great job with it. So this is the town, though. You are Jawsome. And then it's a picture of my favorite boy, Michael Wu. I think I did this. This one, it was early morning. I'm mostly drinking coffee all the time, so I'm probably drinking coffee. Hello. I am here in Seattle. Very good. <laughs> I believe everyone should have gone like an no, item. I didn't, because I think I'm the notification. I'm gonna walk with Lasse. Okay. Is this your first time here at an event as a fan? I mean, yeah. It's kind of exciting. Yeah. I've never really seen the cities in the event, so I figured it would be kind of nice to walk around and kind of feel the island. This way. Well, we have no phone. Bro, I, I do kind of have to be on the schedule. Just have this as a backup, just in case. We play in like potentially half an hour, because I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> See? <laughs> It's a really close walk, holy shit. I mean, after beating EG, we got a lot of confidence still, like uh, motivation. So we ended up starting the upper bracket, and I think we got to play Talon, which again, I think is a very comfortable matchup for us. And we, we enjoy playing them, because we usually win against them. I feel like there's some, some PI nerves. Yeah. Right here, guys. And then Boxy, and then Nisha, and then Mikey. And yeah. then it's at the end, yeah. okay? I am Mikey, guys. Mikey is insulting you. Let's go. Oh, my God. Team Let's go, Nisha! Cracker Shell gets jabs out of there, but he's blocked in by trees. Q is trying to make his own escape, but it's denied by Boxy. But they don't care about Q. They want the big watermelon. They're going to try and burst him into pieces. Here, gobble him up, and Nisha will take him down. Get the jump in. He's get those shots from the Shadow Realm. Tor comes up. Oh, Beautiful vacuum with Nisha immediately with the follow up there. This could be the killing blow as they grab that Punka. Yeah, that is a very Easy. convincing game one from Liquid here. And I feel like we managed to address the correct players on their team, and then I felt like the games were much simpler to play. Oh, Jeff picked up the Aegis. 23, is it gonna have that extra life? Is he gonna be fine though? Mickey tried to get him. in there with a BKB, but he stole the Titanic. Oh, I still like some oh, away, Mickey! He managed to push through both of those heroes, one versus two, and the rest of town are crumpling to the end. That team is so good! <laughs> I told totally. you, I have the least toxic team in all of these yeah. It's very much just who I am. And in that moment, I really just felt like my team is incredible, you know? Because when you're playing five, sometimes you're spectating just as much as you are playing. Team Liquid continuing to have Talon's number in playoff series. Get yet another victory. Yes! The games themselves, I think we played well, drafted well. I had two pretty, pretty simple games in my opinion. Yeah, now we're at TI. We have the, almost the most game played together. 1,118. Damn. But congratulations, how does it feel to officially make it to TI? Oh, it's incredible. Honestly, uh, I'm not really jaded about esports yet, so I still love it, and it's special every single time. Especially because it was the first time my mom got to see us play, so I feel like if we lost, I would have been devastated, but yeah, I mean, it's exciting because now we have time to watch other teams play, and I'm really excited for that. Like, we'll probably plan things out. Maybe we'll go whale watching or some shit like that. So this is from the, the video shoot. Oh, this is another media day. Yeah, we were shooting it up. It's fun. I was, I was like doing the shoots. I don't know, this set was like, I'm sure, crazy expensive. It looks pretty cool, holy shit. And Nick, the guy that like does the camera stuff, is like really fun to work with. He makes a lot of funny noises while you're filming. Yeah, buddy. Nice, nice. That's right. Godlike, here we go. 
and then this one, each on his hoodie, I don't know. I don't even know, but he looks like devious as hell. In one of these pictures, you guys have caught Nisha smiling, which is not that hard, but it's very nice. He has a very nice smile. When he smiles, I feel happy. I like it. <laughs> I'm just happy about it. <laughs> we went to some park, some brick tower. Oh my god. Fresh air. Do you play tennis? No. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I like your weapon. Now, because of the week's break, I think it's really important for me, at least, to physically stay a little bit active and to get some fresh air and get some new energy. You can walk for an hour, you can see some shit, but you're not going to be able to just relax and uh, have a good time the same way as you would on a vacation. I'm in prison. I've been in prison. So until the tournament's over, there's, there's no time for relaxation, kind of. Thank you, Lucas. 8.26. What time is the call time? 8.30. I'm glad you made it. The winning team was good, sir. Let's go. Good luck, Quinn! Oh, yeah! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! I feel like the opening ceremony of TIs is always such a good time. I think the Kirina looks insane. I think the stage is super sick. It was so packed. There's so many people there. I didn't expect that many people that early on a Friday. Here crowds are always like hyped to the max. So we played Team Spirits here. Well, these are pretty funny. The Boxian, his brother Fabian, just drinking water. Good choice. Table Cappy, Box looks tired as always. Yeah, no, my brother and girlfriend came out. <laughs> it was very nice to be able to bring him to a Dora event. Technically, he's played Dora for longer than I have. And there's like a different angle of this situation, I think, where Nisha's like asleep and then me, I'm smiling and Nick is like smiling. Yeah, it was a really nice picture. Yeah, I slept and uh, the games were very fast. Like to zero, to zero, and we got to go. <laughs> I don't know if like there's something wrong with my brain, but <laughs> ever since like, I always want to beat the teams that beat me. So I'm usually pretty happy about getting another chance. Like throughout this year it was Gladiators, and I was always equally excited to play them in the final. And I feel like this, this I felt that way about Spirit. I just really wanted to play them, and I really wanted to beat them. Good game, boys. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Did anyone fall? No? I think we were like confident because we were winning a lot. I mean, I, I think I, I was mostly thinking about Riyadh because obviously we played them last uh, in the finals there. I think we're like in a good mood and that's usually all that matters. So, I hope. <laughs> We started playing them. I think game one, our draft is pretty good. The thing with Spirit, though, I feel like they're they're much easier to beat in uh, like anywhere but the finals. And the one smoke move you made. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there we go. God strike trying to use everything on to collapse. That's a play. Oh, oh, destroy him. Yeah. Nikki oh. gets deleted. I think we knew that it's gonna be like the hardest opponent we we will face. And now DJ puts himself on the cliff, pulling an Arteezy. Oh dear, he's completely surrounded now. And it just feels like it's inevitable. He will fall in the end, two for nothing. As oh, it's not over is yet. rolling over Liquid. I don't think we like we played. We we just were there and we just clicked some buttons, but we didn't like play as a team. So it was probably one of the worst games we played this tournament. We didn't really do anything, we were too scared. And then like once he got smashed one game, I was like, okay, we, whoa, we, you know, you gotta step it up. Like we're playing TI, you know, we're playing good team. Trouble, nice egg with the Sunray, gonna keep him quite healthy. But look at that damage being applied from Team Spirit. They're just destroying Liquid and Boxing on the outskirts. GG's called. GG. We just need to be a little more consistent. I'm just gonna say it online. I think this is like the worst game you ever played. I'm gonna f*** this. So just bad coordination. Next time, we'll f***. Right, 
I think game two was, was pretty straightforward, but I think they were also testing their limits a little bit. I think we were like uh, more pumped up, more energy. It felt, the game felt quite easy. I felt like when I looked at like the start, the finish, like I could see like every step of the game, like super good. They made us walk for it, which is classic Spirit, honestly. It's like no, there's no freebies against Spirit. I mean, obviously we were like uh, satisfied. We were like ready to do it, ready to play more Dota. If we're gonna lose, let's like make some moves and like uh, lose with it. But in the game, I feel like we were really cooking. We were doing some good shit. But I think we made some some poor choices, myself included. Everyone just trying to wait out this primal split now. Collapse, looking for Nisha. Nullifier still applied as Laurel kind of just stuck in place. He's gonna eat the cheese to survive. Nisha's dead though, as Collapse basically soloed him. That's a 45 essentially with the buyback now coming out from Nisha. Collapse for the kill onto Zai. Already both tier fours down to static. So they're putting all their efforts onto the Weaver. Laura literally ignoring everybody, along with Collapse, as they will take down the Ancient and Team Spirit secure themselves top three. I think we've had quite a bit of burnout by going very far in a lot of tournaments. And I think we played well, but we just didn't play good enough. I, it, was, it, was, it was okay. Like, I didn't walk away from the series thinking like, oh, you know, these guys are so much better than us and we can't beat them. I was like, all right, we'll see him in the grand final. What really sucks about a tournament is these losses make you feel way better than you should feel. Because obviously I think Spirit is a top two, three team in the world. And I think we are too. And we obviously fought them, you know, to hell and back. But if I'm good at my job, then I'll rally the boys back and I'll figure it out. And if I'm bad at my job, then Victor will watch this and fire me. Honestly, it was, it was kind of hard to process because uh, there was such a quick turnover in like, uh, scheduling so we kind of just went home ordered some food tried to like debrief the, the games from today i mean honestly I, I mean it was okay i think i was like it is what it is okay what's going on here there's a picture of our nice manager chloe and our marvelous analyst jabs yeah so this was before we play gladiators I think gaming, like while they're extremely good, they're a pretty straightforward team. Uh, so you just need to have certain ideas and like uh, things you want to do. So no, I was excited to beat them. Like I was ready to, you know, book their fight myself. You know, I, I would have driven them to the airport after we knocked them out. Gave Spirit the easy schedule. <laughs> you wanted the hard way, right? Absolutely. You were two minutes late today. First time. <laughs> after a loss against Spirit. I could tell that we weren't in our best form anymore. We had uh, we had to kind of pull ourselves up again. How's your coaster looking? I should let go of logic. There are some things they have to perceive, not think about to me. I see. So I will dance with my heart today. Okay. All right, guys, let's line it up. Go get them, boys. Get them, boys. Ah. Deep in the corner. How do you get this anyway. guy out of here? What a core? Core, though, into yeah. the board. Hulk 3, that's beautiful, but immediately the BKB going off. They are doing a lot of damage. The Necrobos is getting low. Can they finish? Oh, oh my. Low and is just cleaning up with the glaze. And Celery dove on through the pit, but he missed the ages. I think the game kind of spirals out of control for us pretty early on. I think they pressure us too much, and we're not really responding nice. I think gaming were, you know, really hot through a big part of this year. So it was a pretty tough game, and then at some point, there's this roll fight. <laughs> I mean, honestly, they just made a huge mistake going off. They bleed, you know, they became mortal again. <laughs> but I think after that throw, the game became it just wide open. Uh, and it was pretty easy for us to, to close the first one out. No contest whatsoever. They can take down anybody they want on the side of gaming gladiators. Liquid will complete the comeback in style and take it at 43 minutes. Let's go! We managed to turn our first game. And I think after that, we should have been in good spirits and win the series. But then they started picking it up uh, as TA went on. We're doing good. We have this, this game kind of uh, like 
within our grasp. But I think we just have too many mistakes. Duracho, he is just gonna run in. He Man does not give a damn. He gets ravaged. Or does he? They him down in time. The Rolling Thunder is gonna try and stop things. And Duracho gets off his BKB. Now he's gonna be able to fight back. Mickey forcing forward, trying to put the damage on him. But the bear is on the other side. Clean it house. Sandwiches liquid in this, and they are done for in this fight. Okay, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Yeah. And the third of the game, uh, we'll sound lucky. This will help us win everything. As, oh, Nishi gets caught up by that one. Face shift is he able to blink away. The Kong is going to be a problem. Insane is going to be cleaned out. That's a dieback for him. Zai dies right next to the fountain. Game and Gladiators are way too strong for Liquid right now. I think maybe the game three couldn't really get uh, get a game going. I think I started reacting to what was happening on the map, and then like my game got really bad, and then at some point it was quite evident that like there's there's no way to cook. Somebody help out Mickey, no chance at Asunder, and GG is called Game and Gladiators. We'll do it for the 22nd time this season. They will bring down Team Liquid. They've had their number all year round, and they will prove it on the biggest stage that Dota 2 has to offer. Our final game was probably probably the worst game I've ever played competitively at a LAN. It's like a cold shower, kind of not very pleasant. I mean, we didn't play well, especially me, I think. I was fine with losing the tournaments, because I think Looking at where I am as a player, or like where we were as a team, I think we did we did good. We could have gone further. Uh, also, played against good teams. I mean, we played. We lost to the two teams that are now in the finals of the tournament. So I think there's like no shame in that. And then the final picture is Mickey entering our shuttle back <laughs> after the loss. Very sad. <laughs> the despair is in there, you know. Oh, that's so sad. He's probably the one that takes our losses the hardest. Oh, it's really rough because I've known him for so long. He's like a little brother to me. And like the last thing I want in the world is to see him sad. It's very sad to be a Liquid fan today. Um, I like every Liquid fan needs a beer right now. In <laughs> fact, I need a beer right now. So Liquid is out. So is Matu gonna be out. So. <laughs> That's it, Matu's done. Yeah. This shit. Oh, he's actually just. I mean, obviously disappointed, but it's okay. Like, keep going, yeah. <laughs> Learn from mistakes and keep going. I, I feel like I would rather have ended up at top six beating gaming rather than getting to top three and then losing to gaming, if that makes sense. I feel like it kind of sucks to keep losing to the same team over and over and over again. Um, I thought I would feel really bad. I thought, like, Getting knocked out of TI, I would be like super disappointed and be like, ugh, you know, like, what do we do? And then I remember I went to see my family afterwards and I got swarmed by fans. And I feel like this year, I'm so grateful because we truly, I feel like we've been fan favorites. I don't know if it's true, but I just feel like there's so many people supporting us and there's so many people cheering for us that it's uh, very magical. And like, this might sound super cheesy, but like when you go home and you're playing at the spare pub where you're just like, I don't want to play Dota anymore. I want to uninstall this game. You think back to all these people that come to these events and they cheer for you, and it makes you like immediately re-inspired. I don't know if like any of us would still be playing this game if it wasn't for all the people that show up in arenas, you know, send us nice messages. It's really, really, really nice. You can do you want, uh, the announcement. I wasn't sure I was going to do it, but then it kind of. It kind of came up when we were just talking before the interview, uh, and then it felt weird not to say anything about it. Is there anything that you'd like to say to them who are out there in the crowd or at home or anywhere in the world? Well, actually, after this game, William kind of looked at me and told me I had to go after that center performance. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll most likely uh, I'll follow his lead, uh, and probably this, is, this might have been my last TA. Yeah, cracked a joke about it, something about William firing me. Um, I mean, basically, I'm leaving the scene. I have no intentions of playing as of now. Like, at some point, the intention was for it to just be like, I'm done with this and I'll never come back. Uh, but I think, as we all know, Dota is like, it's easy to fall back into. Yes. And this is IJ, who is, I guess, retiring, leaving, dipping, departing, breaking free, getting out of prison. 
I think in many ways he's the perfect teammate. He's like the best teammate I've probably had in my whole career. Not that he's uh, always right or that he's uh, the wisest man on earth, but I think he's somebody who has very good intuitions and is very willing to you know, p pivot or change his ideas when he needs to. He's the most like aware of, I think, how people feel. And he has a good understanding of like, you know, when he can say things to you that are like maybe slightly critical and when he shouldn't. And when he needs to like lift you up or, you know, be like, it's gonna be all good. And I feel like that's one of the things I'm gonna miss the most, having someone around that's like, has everyone's best intentions in mind. I think it's gonna be tough to, to play without him. Hopefully it'll go good, but I feel like he brought a lot to the team in terms of leadership. Yeah, I mean, he's chill, he's hardworking, he's very smart and very skilled in, in the game. Like, uh, you can't ask for more from him, I think. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll write my message here. Have fun, bro. Oh, just hard. Zai, I really hope you, you know, you found success in Dota. If you decide to come back, I'm sure you'll find more of it. I don't know how long he's played, but he's played probably like 10 TIs. I hope he'll have a good time. He definitely deserves some rest. I truly wish whatever you decide to do next, will make you happy and you'll enjoy it. That's uh, Vila Ifrid, which in Swedish means rest in peace, because he's, he's dead now. But like, he's still alive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's still alive, it's true. Um, it's okay, you think? There we go. Couldn't miss you, Zay. All right, peace out. We can have him sleep on the couch.